And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming game is Brander. He is ranked 2 in his silver division with a record of 203-166 with 2,113 points. Good lord. And here we are in the game. I am the blue Terran in the northwest up against Brander. He is also a Terran. He is red in the southeast. The map is Jungle Basin. And really, this is a, this is a good game. They're a good match. Good map. What am I trying to say? I don't know. I am exhausted. It's been a long week, and... Um, Really, I need to get as many videos as I can uh, tonight because I don't know if I'll have any time this weekend to get um, any recording done. So I'm trying to get as many done tonight as I can. Uh, so you'll have to excuse me if I don't make any sense, or at least less sense than I usually do, uh, which I know is not much. Uh so Jungle Basin, it is uh, one of the safer expansions here. I like this expansion. I don't love it, but I like it. Uh, really, you just need to make sure you keep uh, maybe a marine or a supply depot or some, you know, something to keep an eye on these rocks here. Especially if there's like a proxy pylon, like that one game that I played. Um, I wish I remembered that guy's name so I could direct you to it. But, I'm sorry, it was a Protoss player, obviously, and it was on this map, obviously. That's pretty much all I can tell you. I am going for the barracks. It does look like I am a little bit behind in terms of the early game. Oh, this is not fun. Uh, that is a long ways away. 40, yeah, I'm about 20 seconds behind him. Um, and... I, it's just, it was just that kind of a day for me. Oh, man, that's probably why. 122 APM. Um, I'll be honest, I, today was not the best day for me in terms of playing video, uh, playing StarCraft 2 and or video games in general. It's just, uh, just been an exhausting uh, couple weeks. Um, hopefully it will be all over. I do have, um, to have the holidays coming up, so I would like to take this opportunity to wish everybody happy holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Uh, happy Hanukkah, even though it's kind of belated now, I believe. Uh, don't know when Kwanzaa is, so happy possibly de belated or early Kwanzaa. And uh, I knew in Ramadan was a while ago, wasn't it? I try to keep track of all the re the religious holidays, but it is tough. There are a lot of religions out there. Up comes a really delayed SCV, and he will live. It looks like, because I yeah, he will live. Unfortunately, I am. Uh, he is going for an, a factory, so he just went with the one barracks into a factory. Um, three marines out he still has a lead <laughs> well he still has the lead in the army count as well because he i i spent time getting uh the, the reactor on my first barracks so he has four marines to just my one and this is why this is not necessarily the best rushing build it is a strong build but it is not i wouldn't say a rushing build because really by this point i should be thinking about moving out trying to get the last couple of units out um, by the five minute mark to to go across the map i always think that this map is a little bit too large for any kind of r truly early rushing or aggression or anything like that but um, I have had players do it against me and it's worked so you know take that for what it's worth I still have am the only person that's lost anything in the game I did lose uh, the one SCV inside his base I didn't get to see this factory but he is just now getting a bar uh, reactor on his first barracks he went for a Barracks Factory Barracks, uh, which is something that I have seen a little bit uh, from from Terran players. And a bunker out front, so he is going for a heavily defensive build, it looks like here. Uh, because really, he's getting tanks and a bunker, so it looks like he is preparing for me to attack him. 
And considering what you guys know about me and my playstyle, that is entirely likely. I am going for stim pack and weapons upgrade level 1. Uh, again, Marines and Marauders, he has stopped production on infantry units, at least for a second here, and is purely getting out siege tanks. Now, we're at the 7 minute mark, and he's already got siege tanks in siege mode guarding his base. Well, just one, uh, but another one is on the way. That is a very defensive build, and one that really should do well against pretty much anything unless of course they get there before the siege tanks out if uh i did go in there before the siege tanks got there uh he would be screwed able to take out a random scouting scouting scv it will not live um this is when i think to myself hey you know what what the hell is going on i should get some scouting done so i try to take the zalnaga towers um i go for the one on the right first, it looks like. And because of that grass, and he's got the Zalnaga Tower, he can see me, I can't see him, so he will easily finish me off with two hits left. And here I send one to the other tower, and I'm like, oh, I bet there's a guy there too. But there isn't. There's nobody there. So I'm moving my other guy over. He will be able to get some pot shots on me, but I am able to finish off that guy. And he's going for a second command center. That is a relatively early expansion for Terrans. Um, and he's got three siege tanks and a bunker full of marines. No marauders out, even though he does have a tech lab out. First one is on the way. And here I'm going for a push. And this could not come at a worse time, really. Um, I, I still don't have... Well, I, okay, I have the stim pack and lo uh, weapons one upgrade. He does not, um, but really, I I should I, I shouldn't go in with with these tanks here. I do um, a scan just to see what's going on. Plus, I want to keep an eye on those tanks. And when I see, holy crap, there's three of them, and I was only able to take out one. One is almost dead. One is has full life still. He unloads the bunkers. Gonna scrap it for for everything it's worth and he's sending scvs along with the tanks that is something i don't do maybe i should start doing that send scvs with the mech so they can start doing some repairing along the way and here i'm going for my expansion and as a result i have no minerals to produce units so in terms of the army he absolutely outclasses me in every term possible uh he's spent uh yeah he spent more definitely definitely spent more on the army now uh he can afford it now that he has an expansion up into an orbital command getting a supply depot to make sure uh nothing nothing cheesy is going on going for a refinery even though he's got nothing um uh, mining out of um uh, the minerals and here we go three siege tanks all in sea mode uh, doesn't really matter what else he's got there as long as they give those siege tanks sight that will easily finish off everything I've got here and that is definitely it for me I stand no chance against three siege tanks and I am forced to GG and that's the game definitely an interesting game here um, because of a couple things, really, when we when we're looking back at it, that expansion was ill-advised because I w I was so easily wiped out during my attack that I should have focused more on um, building units. But then again, I am so oversaturated here because there's so few minerals left on some of these that I needed that up sooner rather than later. Even though all all eight of them are still up. Um, they wouldn't have lasted long. And I need to start thinking about the expansion. But I shouldn't have done it exactly when I did do it. Um, really, the, the siege tanks... Um, w okay, what I should have done. When I saw that first siege tank go off, I needed to back my army out. And that is something that I don't do very often is go in, and then when I see that I'm overwhelmed, I back off because I always assume the guy's going to um, chase me down and wipe me out. But of course with siege tanks, when they're moving, they're not as powerful. 
even though they do 25 damage against armored and their their weapon speed is a lot faster um, when of course when they're in siege mode they completely outrange me and there's nothing I can do to attack them so I need to back off when I counter siege tanks that I know I won't be able to destroy and when he countered I had nothing left to answer so that's what lost me the game so I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.